you should know by now how to order positive integers. But how do we order negative numbers? Or, more generally, integer numbers? Let's do it step by step. First, we should figure out what a negative number is in real life. We can quite easily imagine what it means to have £1,000. But what does it mean to have negative £1,000? It means that you not only have zero pounds, but also owe somebody £1,000. So, when you finally earn some money, you should first give £1,000 to your creditor to break even, and only after that start growing positive numbers of your earnings. To have money is better than to owe money, in most cases. That's why positive numbers are always bigger than negative. So our first step is to split numbers in two groups, negative and positive. If we have zero, it will stay in between these groups. The second step is to order the numbers in the positive group. You already know how to do that. The third step, the negative group numbers should be ordered in the same way, but in the opposite direction. The bigger our debt is the less money we have. So the bigger the value of a negative number, the smaller the number itself. And the last step, connect both groups together. And don't forget about the zero. We now have our numbers ordered properly. Let's try to arrange the following numbers in ascending order. Pause the video and try to do this on your own, then continue watching. Did you get them right? There is also another method to find what number is bigger. You can use it if you know how to do operations with integer numbers. Just subtract one number from another. If the result is a positive number, then the number that you are subtracting from is bigger. If the result is a negative number, then the number you are subtracting is bigger. If the difference is zero, then the numbers are equal. You wouldn't normally use this method to order integers. However, this method is common and so might be really helpful when ordering more difficult maths entities. Also, if you are a computer, it's so much easier for you to just subtract numbers rather than do all these silly things with digits and signs. So just keep calm and subtract them. Let the power of order be with you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.